Welcome to an awesome tutorial, you wonderful children. So today we're going to learn how to make your Windows interface look like so. So what you have to do is go to this download, Psychedelic Ultimate Windows Resources. All right, all right, and download that. Or it says downloaded. You're going to want to go to where you downloaded it. It's going to be in a .dot seven zip format. You're going to want to click on it. And then just drag it wherever you please. Once that's dragged, you're going to want to click on the folder. Go to Theme Management, Required Software, Universal Theme Patcher, click on that. Ooh, click on that, run. Okay. Yes. And then patch, patch, patch. Don't restart your computer yet. And then go back and then to UX style. And then depending on your OS, I'm on Windows 7, I would just click on Windows 7. But you could use a multi patcher it works on all versions of Windows 7 to Windows 10. I think it also works with Windows XP. Don't know why you would be using Windows XP though. It's out of date, kids. Use something new. So, yeah, it does work with Windows XP, Windows Server, all the way to Windows 10. So, yeah, multi patch is pretty good. So just install that and you're done. Then once you've done that, you're gonna wanna click on Samurai's and then right click on it, go to Properties, Compatibility, make sure that this box is checked and set to Windows XP Service Pack 3. Run this program as administrator. Apply. OK. Install it. Once it's installed, just next, 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 I agree, all that stuff. I already have it installed, so there's no point in me installing stuff I already have on my computer. You want to go back, and you want to go to the Rain Meter widgets and you can install either one I, I like the beta one because it's compatible with more skins and that's what this is this is rain meter and this right here you see my voice the equalizer spectrum let me drag it actually down a little bit this is my voice it's connected so what we're gonna do first is apply our themes so once you have all that software installed you can also install WinApp if you want to but you don't have to once you have all that software installed, you're going to want to restart your computer. Just restart it, and once your computer is restarted, you're going to want to go to this th folder, Themes, Dark, Vulex the Hacker, 007, 007, never mind. I don't know who this person is, but whoever made this theme, that's the theme you see before you. So you're going to want to go into the folder, go to Theme, then highlight these two. Then go to Computer, your local disk, Windows, and then look for resources. Resources is right here. Themes. And I'm going to drag those two folders in, oh well, no, the file in the folder in here. And once they're dragged in here, you want to click on this file, the one with this icon. As you see right there, it will be applied. So I'm just going to click on it and see, it applied the theme, but that's not the background I want. So I'm going to go to my wallpapers. Just there we go. So now that that's set up, uh, you're gonna notice how this start menu orb is missing, and how you don't have these things right here. So to do that, you're gonna want to go back to the psychedelic Ultimate Windows Resources. Go back to Theme Management. Go to Nav Buttons, Windows 7 Navigation Button Customizer. I usually run as admin, but I already have it set to run as admin. You're gonna see the frame and stuff. So, in icons. So as you can see, you can have your default to your default, your frame to your frame. To do so, you just click on your frame or whatever. Click on whichever. You have to click on all of these and set them all separately. So I'm gonna click on my frame. Change select to bitmap to frame. Open. As you can see, my frame's there now. Even though it was here before, now it's there. And then yada yada yada, you do so forth with the default as well. So default goes with default. Default. And yeah. Ah, that's not right. Default okay. Alright. So now that this is all set, once you get this all set, you can just leave it. And then... Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna go back to the Psychedelic Ultimate Resources folder. 
and go back to theme management and go to start org and click on Windows 7 start org change your version 5 run as admin. I want to change it and this folder sh you want to go to this folder right here and then set to the Felix bottom and then it's still changing, still changing and success. Which says success you are ready and good. So I'm gonna go back to that folder again for the billionth time. Uh, Psychedelic Ultimate Windows Resources and then theme management. And then oh wait, there's one more file that I need to apply. So if you want this equalizer, uh I have a download for it in the description. Here it is. Equalizer Spectrum Samurai's version 3. It's supposed to be version 4, but it says version 3 for some reason. And you're going to want to open Samurai's. Open it. And then once it's open, you're going to want to run on startup. And then select config file. Open folder. And you're going to drag the EQ Spectrum version 4 folder into the config folder. Then once you are in once you've done that, you want to go to, go to Samurai's, leave configs, and go to plugins, then drop these two files right here. And once those are copied, you want to go to computer, local disk, Windows, and then you're going to see these two folders right here, System32 and SysWire64. Now, depending on which operating system you have, you might either have 32-bit or 64-bit. So if you don't know, just go to computer properties Windows 7 is different for every OS so you might have to find out how to do that with different OS you can usually go through the control panel and do the same thing so once you get into the computer properties you're gonna notice it says system type mine 64 bit a 64 bit operating system so because mine 64 I'll go to syswow64 and drop the base folder into syswow64 but if you have a 32-bit operating system, you're going to want to drop the base into the 32-bit folder. Once you have achieved maximum awesomeness for Equalizer, you're going to want to right-click on Samurai's again, reload config, and then you're going to want to set it. So, select config file, let's see, let's try Blazing Fire. Since you can see it's red now, because the set's red, but I prefer black just because of the way my theme is set up, so I'm going to change that back real quick. Okay, so now that that is set up... Uh, okay, that's good enough. Now that that's set up, we have one more thing to do. And that is these two things right here. We're not going to go over this, because this is object doc. You can just look object doc on the internet. Or you can get Rocket Doc, which is a free alternative, but it's not as nice. So, you will want this. This is Rain Meter. So, you're going to want to open Rain Meter. Open. Once Rain Meter is open, you're going to want to right click on it and then go to Skins and then Open Folder. I also have a download for this in the description below, too. So, you can also f usually find a website for these, but just so you guys know how to. Add skins to Rain Meter. You're gonna wanna open your zip file, and here it is, and then you just drag it in there, it's that simple. And then once that's done, you're gonna wanna right click on Rain Meter, refresh all, and then right click on it again. And whatever skin you have set, let me just put in a random skin. As you can see, I have a skin now. This isn't the skin I dragged in, but that's just a, just so you guys could have some example. Okay, now that that's done. I'm going to show you all the websites that you can go to to get your themes and stuff. Some good websites are Windows 7 themes. There should also be ones for Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 8.1, and so on. So here's a good website that I use for Windows 7. Another good one is DeviantArt.com. Go on DeviantArt, you can find some nice Rain Meter skins. So Rain Meter. Uh, so you can see there's some Rain Meter stuff right here, or you can also look up Samurai's. And these are some good websites, so I'll have links to all these websites in the description below. And 
Thank you for watching my video, and thank you for downloading the folder. Please subscribe. If you subscribe, I will be making more videos like this, and I'll show you how to customize similar settings through the registry without even downloading software. So if I get enough subscribers, I will do that. So have a nice day. Live life. Before you leave, I have a photo to show you. These wallpapers are all included in the folder that you download. And this one I think is very powerful. I made this one myself, and it's called You Have Power, Never Give Up. Just remember that you have power, never give up. If you're negative, you'll be like, you never have give power up. That's negative. Be positive. So, psychedelic, calling out. Have a good one, and peace. I actually forgot one more thing for the equalizer. So what you want to do is, if you want to set it up to your microphone, you're going to want to go to the audio icon right here. Right-click, recording devices. Don't forget to show disabled devices. And then if you want it set up to your microphone, just set your mic as your default device. And once that's set to default, you're going to want to go to Samurai's, and then set it as, and then you want to uh, reload the config. And once that's reloaded, it's going to be set to your mic. Now if you want to set it up to sounds from Windows, such as music or videos, you're going to want to go to your stereo mix, and then set as default device. And then you're going to want to reload the config to Samurai's, and as you've noticed, my mic is not giving it any spectrum, no bass, no nothing. So I'm going to go to Winamp, play a song that I like. And as you've noticed, now it's set up to my audio. So that's actually the end of this video. And I hope that you watched all the way to the end and have a good one.